we're in here. Let's get this thing started. Hey guys, Michael Hicks here with Mike Does. I'm out here in our warehouse. We've got all kinds of cool projects going on out here. We had a little bit of delay at the properties we were buying and then it was 15 degrees last week, snow, rain, just not good for working outside. So what do we do? We just brought it inside. I'm gonna show you some of the projects we've been working on this week. Got a lot done and we'll be ready to plug and play once we get out to the lot. We'll turn around and show you guys got 48 of these A's built. They are 12 feet wide. They look really small on the, uh, the, the video, but they're 12 feet wide and 15 and a half feet tall. Pre-built these to where once we get our skids down, we can uh, just set them in place and go. It will take 12 per, uh, per A-frame. We've got 48 here, that'll do four and then we'll build a bathhouse on site uh, to service these four units. But we'll either have a king bed in these or two twins. So we'll set them up, we'll set two up with kings and two up with two twins. And uh, that way you can bring the kids along or a couple friends going out and don't wanna stay in the same king bed, there you go. Then we got the bus, that thing is looking fire. Look at that thing. Waiting on some glass and waiting on some upholstery. Then we'll be ready to camp in there before long. Can you can you see it? Check out that fan there. I don't know if that works or not, but I definitely need a fan when I'm sleeping. Then the last thing we got going on here is the Blue Ridge Treehouse build. We decided uh, while we're waiting on permitting that we'll go ahead and get started. We've got these walls numbered one through 14. And once we get our floor system in place, huh? look, we've got our first guest already. Can't tell if she's waving. She doesn't look happy. I know she's standing at the kitchen sink, so she may be doing dishes, but I can't tell if she's waving or giving the thumbs down. Let's see if we can fix that. Oh. Thumbs up. Let's go in here and take a look. Got our big front door, six foot wide front door. Going to the main living area. This ceiling here will be 12 feet on the left hand side here and six feet on the right hand side, allowing for an upstairs loft. Uh, that way we can have a spot for the kiddos. The loft will be above that back door there uh, over the back porch and looking over the creek. The creek will be right down below there. If you go to the left here, We've got a laundry for our guests and for our turnover specialist. Be a stack unit, maybe a couple shelves. We've got the bedroom here. We'll have the headboard over here on the left side. The feet towards the, the river. Have a nice big open window here. Be able to look out over the mountains and down towards the river. Really cool spot we're going to. We'll go back over here and Go out the back door onto the back patio, the back deck. Get over here to the rail and look down. Can you can you see the creek there? I can just see it flowing. Maybe a couple trout in there. Gonna be cool. Then come back in. Got the bathroom right here. This will be similar to the treehouse bathroom. We've got the big window. It's not quite as big as the treehouse, so we'll have a five foot tub here instead of a six foot tub. And then our toilet and sink go over there on that wall. Come over here with our buddy, our guest. Uh, she's standing here at the kitchen sink. She's lost both her hands. I don't know how she's gonna do the dishes, but um, anyway, our, our refrigerator will be here on this wall, mini fridge. And then we'll have our uh, stove top and, and uh, sink right here below the window. Uh, this is gonna be a cool build. Again, the loft will be up top here, and then we'll have high ceilings above us 
to give a big open feel, lots of volume in this treehouse. And then on to the next project, which is, you know, a, a longer term project, but we're turning this space into an incubator space. So it'll be a small business startup space, uh, a place you could come and have an office and not have to have the overhead of a big office. It'll have a conference area, a common area. So right over here in this wall, and the heat just kicked on. Right over here on this wall below those panels, we'll have a shipping container that'll have three separate offices in it, a 20 footer. And then on the back wall, right against that door, have another shipping container with three offices in it. And then those two containers will form a, an alcove or uh, a corner nook right around that sink area. That'll be our coffee bar. Uh, and then these, uh, I don't know if you can see them or not, got a bunch of block where they filled in the old windows. We'll have a muralist come in and put a, a mural on each of those. I think there's about seven of them. But we'll have a muralist come in and, and do their thing on these. And then uh, I think I'm going to leave the, the brick the way they are. I like the patina of that. But uh, we're going to add some more shipping containers over in this area. That'll be where I put my office. And then this area here will become a conference area, a small meeting space, small venue space. And then this front corner, I'm going to build one loft apartment to kind of model after and see, uh, see how it does. But uh, we'll do the one loft here. And uh, if it does well, we may turn the rest of this building into, uh, into lofts. So pretty cool project. I'm excited about this one. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Just uh, got a lot going on here. So I'm excited. Let me know what you think about these projects. Let me know what you do in this space. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. See you guys next week.